Okay, we're going to look at some cutting tool geometry like you would find on a lathe. We're going to cut the tool with three different planes. The first plane will orient like this and we'll cut through the tool. That will give us a cross section that looks like this. Now we'll look at that straight on. So here's that cross section straight on. The important angles in this view are the side rake angle and the side relief angle. Now we'll cut through the tool horizontally. We get a cross section that looks like this and then we'll turn this and look at it straight on. When we look straight down on the tool like this, we can see the end cutting edge angle, the nose radius, and the side cutting edge angle. We can also see the nose angle. For the last cut, we'll cut vertically along the axis of the tool. The cross section is going to look like this. And we'll look at that cross section straight on. Here we see the back rake angle, the wedge angle, and the end relief angle. And that's pretty much the important geometry for a single point tool.